Shalom, shalom, shalom to everyone. This is part two of my domestic violence uh, deliverance. Praise be unto God. Well, many of you all know I'm outside. I'm very close to nature. I love nature. I love the trees. I love the green grass. I love all of God's creation, what he, he done, what he created. Praise God. I don't worship it, but I'm real close to nature. All right. Let's just get on off into it right now. Okay. Part one. You all heard about that. Well, uh, part two. This is Domestic Violence Abuse Awareness Month. And I'm also a candidate. Well, not a candidate. I was here from uh, cancer. I've had two sisters to die with cancer. Um, I'm a survivor. I survived it. Praise God. So, anywho, as I was going through the violence, I was also going through a real bad sickness in my body. And uh, that sickness caused me to stay at home a lot. And I was bleeding like three times a month, cervical cancer. And uh, I didn't know what was going on. It started at the age of 11. Um, this is, like I said, this is also Cancer Awareness Month also. So I couldn't keep a job and I had to stay at home and uh, take care of the kids. Yes, I was one of those who had to raise my kids alone. Yeah, one of those. Praise God, they're all grown now. And uh, God bless them to get up on their feet. And they are, they are out on their own now. Praise God. Yeah, and uh, so I sit at home. I went through a lot of depression. Darkness came up on me. I wanted to commit suicide. I want all of you all to say, back in the days, this, that was many years ago, not now, because I have a clear mind. God has set me free. But this is for somebody. Somebody needs to be um, touched today. And this is a message for you, because God said when he hear you, you know there were lepers, ten lepers in the, in the uh, Bible. And it was just only one return back and give God thanks out of all of them. So I'm one of those lepers giving God thanks and bringing him glory because I want to see another sister brother uh, be set free or uh, keep the hope alive because I had a lot of hope going on and faith going on knowing that I know God if this thing came upon me you are able to deliver and heal me. Yes. A uh, long story short fast forward he healed my body. One day I woke up and the flow was gone. I still didn't, uh, back in the day, that was prayer warriors, real prayer warriors standing with me. Praise God. And my body, God touched my body and healed my body. Praise God. And I'm a testament to let you know there's nothing too hard for God. And I don't mean it just to be saying it in words. I'm one of those that he healed. I'm one of those that he set free. Praise God. And I thank him today. We have the victory. The victory is in Christ. It was won on Calvary. When he went to the cross, when he died on that cross and was buried and arose on the third day, according to scripture, we all died with him. And he got up with all victory in his hand. And we have the victory in Christ. No matter how deep, how dark your situation looks, just know that God will not leave you nor forsake you. There are things right now that I'm trusting God for right now. I know he's going to, it's already done. And that's how you got to look at it. It's already done. I don't care what it looks like. It's already done. Praise God. It's already done. So just keep giving God praise. Keep waking up every day saying this is a new day. The Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, it looked bleak. Sometimes I get down to nothing. And I'm like, God, where are I know you right there, God. I need you, Lord. Come see about me. I need you. I need a miracle. And he's in the miracle working business. Because
because he healed me. That was a miracle in my body. That blood stopped flowing. Three times a month, I was considered as an unclean woman, just like the woman with the issue of blood in the Bible. She was unclean. And if she was caught outside, she would have been stoned to death. But of course, this day and time, they don't have those kind of laws. Praise God. And I thank God for that. But I'm letting you know, God just didn't heal my body. He made me whole. Hallelujah. Praise be unto God. So sister, brother, whoever you may be, be healed and made whole from your situation. Some of y'all may have a bleed disorder. Be healed and made whole. Some of y'all may be walking with a limp. Be healed and made whole, said the Lord that God. Be healed. God touched me one day. I woke up one day and he had touched my body. He touched me. So I'm sending that same touch through the screen. You can be whole too, also. So yes, our God is a miracle working God. And a lot of stuff you see going on in the churches and what's going on, it brings tears to my eyes. It, it breaks my heart to see what's going on in the uh, sanctuaries now because we are the church. We are the church. It breaks my heart to see what's going on. Our youth don't have nothing to look up to hardly. Now, I commend those standing up singing the gospel for Jesus Christ. But many have fallen. I commend those that still preaching the gospel of unadulterated uh, word of God, the uncompromised word of God. Keep on keeping on, because your reward awaits you in heaven. And God said not, he will bless you on this earth also. Praise be unto God. He's a miracle working God. Don't lose faith. Keep the hope alive. Yes. And for us, uh, I'm open. I'm open. Because I told God, I said, Lord, I want to give my life, my whole life to you. I even been talking to people about going into prison, talking to the women. If anybody's on here wants to want me to come and speak to women in the prisons, anybody have a church that uh, need a female to come in to help the women be healed and, and, and stop sleeping with the women, y'all be okay, uh, some of you preachers in the pulpit. You all need to quit sleeping with these women. A lot of these women are emotional damage. See, I was considered as an emotional damage woman. I had to be healed from my hurt. Men of my women, it's some secret things and some very private things that's going on in their lives. And can't no man expose this here to no woman. But another woman knows how another woman feels, okay? And so I know Deep down inside, some of you women are hurting and need emotional uh, uh, healing. I'm telling you, I know about that. So I pray right now for any preacher out there that's not threatened with my gift. <laughs> and wants me to come speak in your church to your women. I'm available. You can uh, inbox me. But a lot of y'all scared I'm going to come in and you all got to pay. Yeah. The Bible says if uh, when a ox tread out, you know, the grain, yeah, everybody want to be paid, okay? So, my message for you guys, for you women, is to hold on. God loves you. He has not forgotten about you. I don't care if you're an alcoholic. I don't care if you're a drug addict. I don't care if you're a prostitute. I don't care if you swinging on poles from 9 to 5 in the evening. God loves you. But I can feel your pain. I feel your hurt. Because our almighty God, he feels the pain and hurt. And one thing I promise him, I promise God, I said, if you heal me, if you deliver me from these here wounds I had, I was damaged. I was damaged from the inside out. I had emotional scars and wounds. And I said, if you heal me and raise me up off this sick bed, hallelujah. I tell every woman, I go help every woman I can. Those that have an ear to hear, those that have an open heart. You can be healed. You can be delivered and set free in the mighty name of Jesus. Be whole today and know that God is with you. That's why you keep making mistakes. That's why you keep letting men come into your life abusing you. I know the secret. God knows the secret to what's going on. But we're not here to share too much because I'm here to cover your wounds, ladies. Be healed and set free. If you need help, if you need to speak to me, please inbox me, ladies. Do not sit there and die. Don't sit there and die. God love you. I love you too in Christ Jesus. Be blessed.